welcome to another exciting episode of Honestly Speaking, the only show where you ask us to bring your favorite celebrities, stars, and we get them to answer questions that you have prepared for them honestly. Now, today's guest is a Ghanaian actress. She's an influencer and also a TV presenter at 3 Music Network. Stick with us and we'll reveal her right after the break. You must be Ariana. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, Tilly's my oldest friend and she tells me everything about you. Wow, um, she never said anything about you to me. <gasps> Tilly, you never told your friend about I mean, me? I mean, technically... I'm, I'm hurt, I'm hurt, I'm hurt, okay? Anyways, since she didn't tell you about me, I am a care of and you're welcome to my fabulous life. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. So I'm ending the trip. Okay. Uh, so that's the thing. Hey, um, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, do you mind if I call you sometime? You know, um, maybe you can take me on some trips uh, uh, offline. Uh, hey. Sure. Sounds good. Perfect. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day, beautiful. <laughs> I had some. Bye, beautiful. <laughs> Invited us to the pool. Are you in? I'm going to get my bag. This your friend is so crazy. Trust me, you haven't seen the half of it. Welcome back. This is Honestly Speaking. Today I have Esilfua Boris Hemans, Hemans, aka Ekuya Gucci, with me in the studio. Welcome, Esi Ekuya. Which one do you prepare? Ekuya is fine. Ekuya yeah. Gucci. I feel like my pronunciation of my Ikea, name. No, Ekuya is just tough. Can I say Esi? You can say Esi or you can say Gucci. Gucci. I think yeah, Gucci. 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 Yeah, Gucci. Yeah, Gucci. Gucci. Are you Gucci? I'm Gucci. Gucci. Well, Gucci. Welcome. <laughs> How are you? Very well. I'm chill. Yeah, this is a bit different because I'm usually asking the questions. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, it's okay. Like I said earlier, she is a TV presenter at 3 Music TV. So today, she gets to be grilled. Tell me a bit about yourself. You know, who are you? Tell me a bit about where you come from, where you grew up, yeah. parents, family. Okay, that's a lot, but I'll try. <laughs> um, so my name is Nani Sofa Warriors Human. I'm the firstborn. Right. Which was basically put some sort of responsibility on you as a yeah. child. And so I have that responsibility. You always wanted to take care of even my friends and whatnot. So you're a responsible um, person. Yes, very responsible. Fun, loving. I'm not impulsive. I have to think through everything I do. If something happens impulsively, it wasn't my decision. It's someone else's decision. Um, I love music so much. I love my job so much. I'm so passionate about talking to people, asking questions, going hours down and then Dennis past here. <laughs> And I love my family so much. I love acting so much because I get to be someone else for a bit, you know. Because life gets boring. And so when you're on set, you get to play someone else's life for just a little bit. Yeah. And yeah, basically that's me. Fun loving, yeah. music loving, outgoing, who loves her job. Yeah. And where did you attend school? Okay, so I went to Archbishop Porta Girls, the only senior high Go to school in the world. If you don't agree, you can argue with your phone. But um, yeah, after that, I went to Valley View University, Seven Day Adventist School. And people are like, "How?" That's because I got Legon, and then my mom was like, "She doesn't trust Legon. She feels like I will just loiter around and not do anything." And she didn't like my course. What kind of English? Doing? I wanted to do law, but I was given English, and she was so upset. And so I moved to Valley View and still did English. Yeah, but that was with education, and so I'm a trained teacher, right? Yeah. Like what what subjects? Like English. in all in English? Wow, I didn't know that, yeah. guys. We we learn something new every day. So how did you 
branch into acting. Well, what, what was well? The... To be told, I've always loved acting. After Wasi, I wanted to go to Nafti, but my dad said no. Why? If I saw why? If I if I say the reason, I'll put my dad on this. Oh, I don't want to do that. But um, it was from a very genuine place. He was worried as a father right. with the first child being a girl. He didn't want to put me out there right. too much. Right. And so I think it was enough. See, I went to Bali View. But the whole time I was doing my gigs, I was doing modeling gigs. I'll be acting, hiding. So one time I did a runway and then it popped up. And there was a magazine. So it was passing in the shop. And yeah. He saw it. And he was so upset. Oh, no. But like, I'm upset in the body. I'm upset that I didn't tell him. And then my mom, they literally sat me down and like, this is what I want to do. And I'm like, yeah, they're like, okay, fine, finish school. And then da, 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 da. Next thing, I find myself working at an ad agency that does production as well. Okay. So that's yeah, Alpha, right? Nine, Alpha Nine Studios. So they gave me my very first role. I was copywriting for them. So for their clients, I write the scripts for the ads and um, websites. All right. That. But then they had a different side where they had acting as well. And so they did infatuations. And so my very first role ever, I played the role of a damn girl. Oh, no. <laughs> I, not, I couldn't talk. I couldn't speak. And it was so tough. Like, you cannot speak. You have to, like, show all the expression in your face. Yeah. And you will not believe me if I say my very first role was with James. James. Um, oh, yeah. Quay. Oh, yeah. Quay. Yeah. Quay. Yes. Yes. Quay. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was my first time I ever was on screen. Yeah. It was him. And it was very exciting for me. So from there... I didn't know what was going on because my parents were like, you're not bringing any money home. You're not yeah, doing yeah. so well for yourself. Yeah. So what's next? And I was thinking a lot. I was going for auditions back and forth. Hey, if I did auditions, I've gone for it. It's a tough it to break it. Exactly. Online auditions. Virtually, there was this one time. I was at the market with my mom. Sorry, time. <laughs> I was at the market with my mom. Accra. My mom and my siblings yeah. were coming back. And these people wanted to audition. And it was like a virtual audition. And they said it was my turn. And I was in Accra coming from the trade for um, trade it's World Trade Center. Like yeah. it sits the um what's the name of the National Theatre, right? Okay. So we got on I got on the bus stop because it was a bit quiet and I did audition there. Stop. Stop. That is serious determination. I tell you, like, that is serious. So if I tell yeah. you, I've just I love it so much. I kept on pushing till I got sugar spice and sauce. And then yeah, that's when it became blissful. Yeah. Yeah. And so, how did you get the yellow gig? Was through the company, or how did you get? So you, you is very interesting, right? Yeah. So I mean, I done she gets twice, and so I done a few other movies, and I was like, I've always wanted to be a yellow because I tried an audition. I was supposed to go, and then I don't know what happened. I wasn't able to go for the audition. So my baby girl Gloria Ampofo, she's um, a stand director, yeah. she's a script writer, it's a really great yeah. person, and she's like, I know Ivan. I'm going to pick up my check. So let me let's go and then meet Ivan. And I was like, okay, I get to Ivan's office. Ivan is so cool. I was so scared. Yeah. I tell you, I was so scared. I was like, hey, yeah. I'm going to crush you guys. I think, yeah, that's how everybody feels yeah. until they meet him. Until you meet him. He's such a fun-loving person. And he's so cool, right? So we're having a very nice conversation. He asked me where I come from, my background, at home. And I even told him a few stories about my watch. I remember very well. It was interesting. Next thing, Gloria's like, oh, she's an actress. And he's like, yeah, really? Okay, you ask for me. Oh. No way. I did not come prepared. I was coming to meet you. Like, this is a great thing. And he's like, oh, no, you act for me. Tell them to get me a script. I, oh. thought, you know, I really thought it was a joke to the script came. Yeah. And I was on my toes. I was like, okay, if you flop this, that's the end of your life. Oh, no. Because, I mean, that's like, that's how yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. Because how do you get a chance to meet Ivan Kashuga? And he tells you that, you know, act for me. Like, right now, he's bringing you, they're bringing you a script. And I'm like, okay. Perfect. I had to meet him several times. Yeah. And I had to psych myself that you know what this is the shot you've been waiting for something like this to so take it and then i think i killed it maybe later after i'll ask him if i did but i think i did yeah I, I you know i've realized that mr ivan is someone who knows exactly what he likes yes. so if he saw it and he called you back then maybe he saw something yeah good in you so but i think i came back for two more auditions yeah before i got a care gucci yeah so maybe they just weren't ready for or yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, if we, everything is time you know because every time something happens, someone can tell the opportunity. Because when I did the audition, he was like, "What's good?" Yeah. But he'd already casted for what he was doing. Yeah. So the right time came, and the that she popped up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy for you. And so aside acting and your presenting, like, what else do you do? Are you solely a media person? Um, 
Well, most of the time, yes. And also a producer. I produce, I think, like, something a lot of people don't know. Yeah. I actually started producing, so I learned that on yeah. a job. And I love doing that. Yeah. And so I'm able to produce other shows. Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily have to be in front of the screen all the time. I can curate a show and then help. Yeah. It, so it, would you it, say that you are living the life that you dreamt of? Not like this is the end, but mm-hmm. would you say you are where you you dreamt of being away you want to lose everything is going on I, I can say that because if i look at my life maybe two years ago where i didn't have i knew what i wanted to do but i didn't have that direct oh, journey yeah. well suppose i did i had like my parents were like you know what why do you want to do this but you know we'll support you my mom amazing right i didn't know the direction but i know this is what i wanted to do and all of a sudden praying to god you know researching reading a lot reaching out to people selling myself hey like I'll guess and I'm like, I can add, I can write. I'm that type of person. Yeah. Me, I'm that type of person. Yeah. I will pitch myself yeah. to right now. And yeah. they helped me. And so after I got that direction, I moved into the space, started to get better. I mean, my very first big movie was a like big paycheck. Yeah. Like Sugar Spice and Sauce 3. And my face was all over crying. Yeah. That was amazing. So that's something. Yeah. You know, it's just something huge. And would you say that improved your, your quality of life? Yeah. It's did then, because yeah. I was able to, I now moved from the child was burdening their parents, you know, like helping with, the, my, my parents don't want me to help, you know, of but like course, I do yeah. like the clean stuff, getting them stuff. I think that will make, make them very Hey, my, my dad likes, he can call me anytime and tell me to buy a bundle, any amount. And yeah, I have to come. Yeah, I'm sure when he does that, he's trying to show off or flex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, can you go to, when he found Raha? Oh. I'll credits for him, like, oh. yeah, I got you. I, I, I love that. I love that. Yeah. It's nice, you know, giving me a little deep deets about you. It's nice to know you. Um, let me not waste anyone's time. Let's get straight to the main event of the day, yeah. which is honestly speaking. The seat is hot. Yeah, we have 14 very beautiful, risky, frisky, you know, sisky questions for you. <laughs> Curated by your fans. And when we wait, we're just going to go on a break. When we come back, guys, we have a Kia Gucci. Yeah. On Honestly speaking. Welcome back is Honestly Speaking and Miss Gucci is about to speak honestly. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. 13 questions straight up. The okay. first question is from Sandra from Akosombo 
and she wants to know your favorite thing about being famous. <gasps> I have never thought of that. <laughs> My favorite thing about being famous, um, meeting people every day who genuinely, you know, they love you for what you are on screen. They just love you and they're polite and really nice to you. Some people take it out of context, really, right. because of your role and whatnot, but yeah. Yeah. Just meeting new people every day that want to get to know you. Yeah. Okay. And second question, Fifi from Tema wants to know how your acting and journalism career started, like the genesis of it all. The genesis. That's that's what I said, yeah. yeah. But I mean, um, yeah, I got in from Alpha Night Production, got the big gig with Sugar Spice and Sauce, kept on getting yeah. auditions, researching, being present. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and gigs here and there, and then yeah, basically you selling yourself, putting yourself out okay, there, yeah, and also you know by the grace of God, I guess. Oh, yeah. by the whole lot of grace of God. Yeah, yeah. Right, third question: Kojo from Dansuman wants you to tell us about your upbringing and how it influenced your career. So there's this thing about my mom. My mom would tell you life is full of choices, and right. so when you pick, you deal with the consequences, and consequences don't necessarily mean it's going to be bad. It's whatever comes to the decision you make. If yeah. you decide to pick a bus or you pick Trotro, you will deal with the crowd. You decide to pick bolts. You'll be alone in yeah. there. So it's where you want to be, like knowing be. that and picking and making that choice. And I feel like that's one thing that's guided me. Like when I'm about to do something, I can't think straight. I'm like, you know what? If I pick this, what happens? Where the person goes? If I pick this, what happens? And it guides me every time. And I can see very well that most of the time I, I don't do what I don't Yeah. Mean. Yeah. Sometimes it's small peer pressure, but listen to me. Yeah. I'm just doing what I want to do yeah. because I know it's my choice and whatever it is, I have to stand for that choice. Yeah. So, well spoken. Fifi again wants to know if you if you have ever turned down a role in a movie before and if so, why? Fifi. <laughs> Fifi is a dangerous guy. Very, very dangerous guy. <laughs> um, yes, I have. Um, but the one that I, I feel like I remember the reason why was because of how the deliberations were going with how to get me on set. I, I wasn't privy to the scripts, but they had already done a photo shoot. I was being pressured. Oh, no. Here and then, I was organized. Okay till I, I realized why the scripts had sexual scenes. They had already paid a bill. And I didn't sign the contract. See how weird that is? People can be very shit. Yeah. How, do you, how do you pay me when I've not signed yeah. the contract? And I'm, I didn't want to take the money. They're like, you know what? Take the money, take the contract, decide and let us know. And I had the money. You know, God speaks to us, you know. Like, I wanted to, you know, I was having in, I was just about to use to pay for something. And I was like, you know what? No, you don't have to. Yeah. Just use money to pay and then get home and read the contract. I get home and I didn't really like the terms of the contract. And then the next day when I was going for the table read, we're reading in my character. And I'm like, who is this girl? Why? So many sex scenes and really it's just not my thing. I feel like you everyone has something they stand for, yeah. Something they're great. I don't think I'll be great at sex scenes. Right. If that's supposed to happen in a movie, we're supposed to have a discussion about it, but they were not open to a discussion yeah. with me as to how to put a mask and make things they wanted things to be actual, like to be yeah. real and I'm like, no, that's not <laughs> no so, me. You know, Tilly was here last time and she said how I asked her, would she take a million dollars, you know, to shoot um to be to shoot a, a sex scene or a nude film or something and she said no. So I'm gonna ask you the same thing. Will you take a million dollars if if I offered you or if Farmhouse Productions offered you a million dollars to shoot a sex scene or a nude scene? Would you do it? She's, it's it's a million dollars. Yes, a million dollars. When I say it depends, people don't understand me. I think Jeff really asked me this question in yeah. a different interview sometime. It depends on the features or what the scene entails. Sometimes it's just really, de no, you, there's some sex scenes where you're just happy that it's happening. Pay attention, like with a storyline. Yeah. Some sex scenes are just really, really dirty. Right, and like the the, the oh, no no the, no no you know like like obviously it's not like a real life pornography yeah. but basically like a sex scene where you can tell the people are having sex. Independent, I, I will strongly incline to know 
Right. But maybe if you up the million dollars to maybe like a hundred million dollars. Okay. I'm not going to buy it, you know, like. Yeah, I like how you think. The one yeah. area. Yeah. <laughs> but if I have a hundred million dollars, I can be sad to watch the movie and wipe my yeah. ass. You know? Right. Abigail from Takrade wants to know who Ekia Gucci was in YOLO season seven. Okay. That's where I come from. So shout out to you, baby girl. Okay. Um, who Ekia Gucci was. Yes. Ah, uh, fun loving, which is one part of me that right. I feel like I was able to channel right. loud. Right. I mean, who announces their entry? Ekia Gucci in the building. <laughs> I was like, bro, I enjoyed shooting that. Um, you know, it has that friend that can lead you astray if you uh, you don't have your firm ground. Right. And if you have a friend like Ikea Gucci, you know, stay away from them, eh? Yeah, you need to stay away from them. You need to be able to stand your ground when you're dealing with them. Right. Abigail wants to know some of the comments you've heard about your role in the YOLO. Yes. Oh, that's um, a bad influence. Oh, people really take it up, huh? Oh, how? Someone actually stopped me and said, you're a bad girl. Oh. I was at TV music, someone like came to me, it's like, ah, you can't go to rest. And I'm like, yes, like, this is the girl that has been giving oh, the bad no. advice. And I'm like, yeah, do you think, you think some fans out there really take it far? Like, they're really so invested oh, yeah. in characters that they cannot separate the character yeah, and the to. actual human being, mm-hmm. so from the actual human being. So I've, I've actually heard some overheard some women say, um, Ikea, could you really be doing the most? And someone said, I am Ikea Gucci in real life. Yeah. Yeah. On my TikTok live, someone yeah. just came and just dropped the comment dead like that. But the person said Ikaguchi is doing the most so well. Yeah, yeah. You're doing, doing the most. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the most and that's me in real life. And I'm like, no, people need to be able to be separate, yeah, separate the character because I mean if I want to look at what I've done so far, I've played different type of I've yeah. played a role as a gangster. That looks like a gangster. Mm. Exactly. And so if you can't se- separate and you've only seen that role. And then you see me and you are trying to holler at me like yeah. a dance that you might hit yeah, me. Yeah, you might get the support. Exactly. No, that's, that's, yeah. no, no. Yeah. And then I guess that's how people make wrong perceptions of people like, oh, this yeah. girl, there, she is, oh, no, she is, oh, no, mm-hmm. no, they expected some yeah. form of, right, right. Anyways, let's move on. Um, Sarah, I'm from a shy man, wants to know how the bonding process between you, Ariana, Tilly, and Martha, how it is because the chemistry between you girls is admirable. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I just feel like we just clicked. Right. On set um, and off set. Yeah. I was right. going to say something about these girls, but I won't. I'm, 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 Why? Hey, we're up with Chance in the room. Oh, honey, don't do that. You, know, you, you have to speak honestly. It's, it's a must. Don't do that. I feel like they're really genuine people. Yeah. And I love them in their rawest form, right? right. Yeah. They can fool a lot. <laughs> they fool a lot. You know, I thought I'll have to tone down myself. Yeah. Not do too much. I'm like, wow, these are your beautiful girls. Yeah. And we had so much fun on set from getting food to chatting, you know, helping each other. And it's it's an amazing thing that you can create a relationship with people yeah. you just meet That's on set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah. We can just call each other up, you know, if we want to go out. We've been trying to do like a group out and hopefully it comes out of the but group But you always chats. know that the trips never make it out of the group Honey. <laughs> it's always like that. We'll try, we'll try. We're still okay, working fingers, on it. Fingers crossed. Fingers Guys, crossed. if you really want them to make it out of the group chat, <laughs> comment to us. I, mean, like, I, I, I feel section. like they need motivation. Yeah. Motivate them. Motivate yes. what? Ariana. Ariana. Um... Tilly, Tilly, Martha, Martha, Martha K, William, please Kevin. motivate them. The okay. trip must leave the yes. group chat. It's must, must. All right. <laughs> uh, next question. Sarah again okay. wants to know if you marry a celeb or encourage someone to marry one. Well, that's two tough questions. Hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> me? Yeah. I'm celeb? Yes. I don't think so. Why? Why? It's... it's in as much as I love being a people's person, yeah, it's really tough being in the public eye. People, fair enough. People feel like they know you because yeah. you're in their faces, and I really don't blame them sometimes. But you can't know a person entirely. Yeah, if we do have things like honestly speaking, you won't know certain things about me. Yeah, you get what I'm trying to say. And so if you want to assume by maybe a few videos or uh, someone asked me, am I ever sad? Because whenever they see me on YOLO, I'm, I'm hyped. Oh, when they see me on theme music, yeah. I'm hyped. And they're like, are you? I'm like, I get sad, but you learn to overcome these things. Yeah. And so 
I, I don't think I would want to marry a celebrity because both of us will be going through the same thing. Who should console who? Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say. Yeah. But if you are not in the public eye and you want to marry a celebrity and you can't handle it because it comes with responsibility. Yeah. You have to be there for the person. You'll be the person's therapist. You have to be the person's personal cheerleader. It's not easy to be with someone who is when in the you spotlight. Are the same exactly. Thing, yeah. And so I don't think I would want to marry a celebrity. No. I want someone who is very low key, you know, puts his hand a little, puts his neck a little. Yeah. You know, yeah. How is your celebrity crush? So, yeah, I have different categories. Right. So, like, I have international, then I have... Yeah, like, like just I, mention like, one of them. If one of them came up to you and offered you oh, a relationship with no, my... No? no? <laughs> okay, so that's it, say, Ramister. It's a big no. no. Leonard from Inquanta wants to know how you deal with stage frights or performance anxiety. Hmm. I talk to myself. Oh, <laughs> I talk to myself a lot. Are we having crazy moments? <laughs> Sometimes I ask myself that question. I'm like, I have no crazy yeah. moments. Like, I talk to myself a lot. Like, I, sometimes I can have cold feet. My chest is tight. I can't breathe. Oh, my no. head is aching. I feel like I'm dizzy. Oh, then no. I'm like, bro, we've done this several Not times. Of it, yeah. What are you doing? Like, I talk yeah. to myself. Surely I love mirrors. Yeah. So I get in the mirror. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? You know, we've you done this several times. Together. Like, get yourself together. We can yeah. do this. And then I go and I take a deep breath, and then when I get and I just release, and then I, <laughs> when I start, I don't stop. Oh, yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's something that I also do. The mirror thing really yeah. helps. It really helps. So like, you have to see yourself. yourself. Yeah. You if yourself. you have to shout to yourself, do it to get do it to it. stick. But yeah. the mirror is your friend, as opposed to what many people think yeah. that the mirror is yeah. your enemy. The mirror is yeah. your friend. Yeah. Um, last two, and then we're done. I'm almost done. Kweku from Westland wants to know the number of tattoos you have on your body. Um, and if none, would you ever get a tattoo and why? Oh, I feel like I'm the setup. Ah, <laughs> I really feel like I'm the setup. Ah, is that something? I really feel like I'm the setup. There's something spicy. Wait, what's the person's name again? Kweku from oh, Westland. We call it Kweku. Kweku from Westland. I'm serious. Kweku, I hope you are watching this. Hey. <laughs> so I don't have any tattoos. Okay, but you and Ted don't get the baby. Okay, you know. <laughs> you and Ted don't get the baby. I mean... I'm still trying to have the conversation with my mom. <laughs> yeah. But I really want one. Yeah. I want a tattoo of my mom's name. Aww. Yeah. Because. Where? No, that one I don't think we should talk about. Oh, so. no, why? This is honestly speaking. Hey, baby girl. Let's say, oh, like, because you haven't done it yet. So, no, you I haven't. Or maybe I'm thinking of my forehead. No. Uh, you, know, you know something? <laughs> but I, I don't think it won't be anything visible. You okay. know, it's something for me because this might be a bit sad, but sometimes I'm. One time I had a role and I had to pretend. Well, my mom had died in the yeah. in the you know series, and I cried like I was supposed to cry, you know, yeah, as an actor. But I cried so much; they had to console me oh, after no. I was done with the so shot. You, you couldn't get out of I that couldn't face. get out of yeah. it. I just had to imagine. It didn't take me long. I yeah. was weeping oh, no. for like an hour straight. I was oh, crying. No. I go home. I saw my mom, and I was crying. Oh, no. And I'm like, I love my mom so much, and she's like my best friend right. before my best friend, right. and. I just, I know that at a point here, she wouldn't be here with me. Yeah. And I know it sucks. I really don't want that time to come anytime. So sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I know it's going to come at some point in time yeah. because it's life all of us. Some way, somewhere we'll go. But I feel like that will be a way of her being close to me. And so, yeah, I want to get that. Too. Yeah. And how does she approve of it? Because I know I forget. That's why I said we are still in the coffee. Yeah. Because I'm with the pasta. Hey, clean. Gucci. Gucci. This, this is my diet here, bro. We had <laughs> conversations <laughs> and deliberations. We should just wrote that you're good on the... Girl, oh, she should get a tattoo. Yeah, you should let me know. She I get a tattoo. get a tattoo. Say something. If you feel like she should get a tattoo, I feel like I will personally mm -hmm. drag it to the tattoo artist to get it and they will come and show it off here. Okay, why not? That's what we can do. It's possible. Let us know, guys. Yeah. The final question. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kweku, hey, Kweku. Kweku wants to know... Hey, Kweku. If, if you have any phobias, and if you do what they are, what are the phobias? Oh, my, my phobia is a bit medical. Um, called trypophobia. Oh, is it that dots, dots? Yeah, yeah, it's so bad. My yeah, is yeah, so yeah. bad. 
You know, some people just get goosebumps when yeah. it's really bad. I can have headaches. Oh no! I feel like throwing up. I can. I passed out one time because my friends were. Okay. thought it was a joke, so they were teasing me. So I passed out, and they had to take me to the hospital. Yes, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. What's so this thing is trypophobia. Trypophobia. Do you think you know anyone that has it? Don't play. Don't play around. English teacher. Oh, <laughs> don't play around with it. And any other phobias? I think I have a fear of heights, but it's it's more. It's not like a very bad fear of heights. It's like a oh my god, what will happen if I fall and die? Yeah. Like, like, yeah, I said that in. Yeah. Okay. It's a final question. Okay. I hope it's not quick way in. It's from me. So I want to know, um, you know, your take on the importance of social media in an actor or actress's life. Any, you know, what do you, how do you feel? It's really important. Yeah. But I feel like as an actor or actress, you still need to be intentional or right. deliberate right. about what you put out there. Yeah. Because what you put out there is what probably to you use. And we're too inner for us. To, to you all the yeah. time. We can be used against you. You can be used to your benefit. Yeah. And so be intentional about right. it. Right. Don't follow clouds. Yeah. And go and do something that you yeah. not naturally <laughs> do as a person. Yeah. But as yeah. A, I think it's very important. Yeah. It's a great it's a great selling point for an actual actress. Right. Yeah. Right. All right. That's how we end today's segment yeah. of Honestly Speaking. When we come back with this rapid fire... Welcome back. This is Honestly Speaking. I'm here with Ikea Gucci. It's so far. <laughs> <laughs> right, next segment is Rapid Fire. 10 hot questions. A couple of seconds for you to answer. Pa, 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 pa. No long ten. You ready? I'm ready. All right, Rapid Fire begins now. Go. <laughs> Would you rather be more attractive or more intelligent? More intelligent. More intelligent? <laughs> Why? This works. We oh, yeah, this one, this one will this one will take you. Yeah. This one will keep you there. Okay. Second, would you rather honesty or loyalty? Honesty or loyalty? Loyalty. Loyalty. Yeah. Why? Loyalty. The person will be by your side no matter what. Sometimes people have to lie to you to keep things going. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you rather yeah. It's yeah. Like, rather it's good to be lied like, to. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice way of benefit. Right. Uh, would you rather your ears record everything they hear or your eyes record everything they see? <laughs> no, man, I'm not about to keep anybody's, you know, ears. Yeah. Ear. You yes. gonna remember That's everything. I prefer hear. hearing. But visuals are like something strong. that is not on. Like this guy that is walking right now, mm. I can see him walking and not hear him walking. Great. So like. You would rather record what you hear than what you hear. So you see, your ears can pick anything at any time. If you can't think the person's coming from behind me, That's I miss that. I'll start right. by out here. But you know. ideally, I'm a very um, photographic person. And so I don't want to keep certain scenes in my... Yeah, I don't know. Don't here. forget. It's hard. Yeah, it's very hard for me to forget. Right. Uh, fourth one. Would you rather wake up in the morning as a bird or a dolphin? Hey, which question? Who said this question? <laughs> as a bird or a dolphin? As a bird. As a bird, yeah. Why? So you can fly everywhere. Free. I feel like birds are one of the really free animals. Yeah, you know, and go everywhere, do everything. Yeah. All right. Um, hey, would you? Do you like it fast or slow? Fast. What are we talking about? Dancing. Dancing. Yeah. <laughs> um, both it depends. Yeah. Yeah. Depends on the vibe. Okay, would you rather look for brains when chasing a guy or looks looks or brains? Brains all the way. Brains? Yes. Not even a cute looking guy. If you have the brains... No, you say I have to pick. If I didn't right. have to pick, I want both. Okay. Okay. Uh, are you a night owl or a morning person? Both. Both? It will surprise you. How? How can you say you like morning or evening at the same time? I nap in the afternoon. And then what do you do in the evening? In the evenings, I'm out working, you know. So that means you're a night person. No. I wake up really early to go to work, no matter what it is. And I love early mornings. There's no one outside. Right. Right. Uh, final two. When you're in trouble, would you rather call mom or dad? My mother. Why? My mother. I literally think yeah. my mom is my best friend. My dad knows I won't go in. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he knows I won't go in. Sorry, daddy. <laughs> final one. Would you rather presenting or acting? I Do I have to pick? Yeah, you have to pick. I can't pick. This or that. Presenting or acting. If you only had one choice oh no that's hard 
I don't, I don't know. Say something. Present no, it or acting. Present acting. No, but like, <laughs> I can choose one. Like, I can't. I don't think I can choose one. I think presenting is a form of acting. Yes. So, you know, I think you, you are kind of killing two bears with one stone in the presenting. Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah. Thank you. So acting. Yeah. This is acting. Yeah. Great. Acting. Y- you know what? That's what it is, guys. That's how we end this segment of Rapid Fire. I enjoyed it, this. Okay. Like, yeah, do you have anything? Are you working on anything new? Is there something that you want everyone to look forward to? I mean, because of, you know, contracts and whatnot, you kind of discuss a lot. Right. Yeah, but right. Yeah, I have some things in the pipeline um, I'm working on. Yeah. Um, I have a few movies that are also trending in different yeah. countries, like yeah. Ghana, which is weird, but I love it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm working on. I have my show on theme music right now. Yeah. The second season of Just Vibes is on right now, and yeah, I'm encouraging everyone to watch that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Basically, yeah. And I'm trying to branch into a few more things. I have um a skincare brand. Yeah, right. That I'm trying right. to push. Yeah. So basically. Okay. And any any inspiration words out there for your fans? Anything um, for them to take away? I'm going to say what my mom says all the time. Life is full of choices. Right. Know what you're picking. Right. Informed and educated about your choices. And so you don't come back to say, I didn't know or I regret and whatnot. Because trust me, a life full of regrets is not what you want. Right. 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 It was a lovely time. Thank you so much. It's nice getting to know you. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. You got to go now. I got to get you off my my sets now. Bye, Bye guys. And that's how we end today's episode of Honestly Speaking. A special thank you to Esofwa, a.k.a. Ekuyan Gucci. A thank you also goes to La Palm Royal Beach Cartel and Royal Lunch for providing us with the space to conduct our interviews. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the link, and comment who you want to see next. Until next time, bye.